was short and stiff. After all that Mia did last week with the group number, she can't be bored with her solo, and now she might not even get a duet. All right, so the duet and get him in here. Does Abby do this often to a girl when she's on the phone? Oh, yes. Pick up your foot and keep that on it. Come on, we don't have time. Oh, 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 oh stop. That's what her mothers don't understand. They're not quick. I am so busy fixing Mia and Kendall's mistakes. I don't even have time to work on the duet. What's the time? spend 17 minutes trying to tell your kid what foot she was on. I gotta let the clock in. I just wish someone would treat Abby the way she treats these kids. We needed them to come in today, ready to go on. You're always ready to blame me and no, no. taking some no, no, I, I, I blame. I want to get it done. And how's it going to get done for the competition? You tell me. You have all the answers to all the questions. I don't have it. I'm a problem solver. I mean, I'll I solve this one. Go. We're finished. I have work to do with Rachel. Bye. <laughs> she needs to do it too that we don't even know. Abby, did you ever get a chance to see the duet in this final stage after the 17 minutes you spent with it? It could have been five minutes. You're lucky they got 17. Now, Kendall has hers on differently than Nia. Yeah. I don't know if Nia's supposed to go across. Yeah. Take this purple section and put it on the other side of your head. Three times I told you. Listen. Abby, for 17 minutes, I think that they did a fine job. Not outstanding, and well, this was a priority. Abby, we doesn't mean fine. I'm not outstanding. I want to make it. Abby's right. The duet was not amazing, but I think the duet reflected Abby's attention and energy in their performance this week. Next up, Junior Advanced Dual Top Scores. This weekend, we are going to Roanoke, Virginia. This competition is called Dance Troupe International. Now, I kind of heard a little rumbling that the Wicked Witch is going to fly in. When I hear that we're up against the candy apples, I dread it because I know it's going to bring out the worst in Abby. The group routine is entitled The Witches of East Canton. <laughs> to the stage. You are the good witch. Me. You'll be portraying me. And the rest of you will be 
the evil. So I want to see your true witchiness come through. You can channel your mom's. Kathy has a new team. She's back to all the boys. Learn that the new Candy Apples team is made up of boys. There's this pressure that the girls have to produce. I'm going to demand perfection from my team. It's going to be faster choreography. They're going to be tighter and clean. Abby being the good witch is like, I don't know, Hannibal Lecter claiming to be Santa Claus. Like, it's ridiculous. When you have Kathy and Abby, you have blurred lines. I don't know if you could say one's a good witch and one's a bad witch. This is the last day of rehearsal before we leave for competition. Well, my routine better be flawless. We need to win, and I will stop at nothing until that happens. Maddie, you're the queen of the fairy tale. They're the evil witches. You need to be beautiful. That hand isolation needs to be bigger and sharper. Now, watching these kids rehearse, the group number is an absolute mess. We're really not ready. This number is not competitive. against anybody else i'd say we have this one in the bag but we're going up against a team full of boys it's in the judges hands now second place overall junior age division small group goes to contestant number 193 wild party candy apples dance center i am in complete shock our dance was way better i'm not standing around waiting to watch this woman gloat i'm out of here Okay, we are just walking. We're not engaging. And now, ladies and gentlemen, receiving our overall award, first place junior age division for small group level two. Number 194, the Witches of East Canton, Abby Lee Dance Company. Look at those! I did not think that we were going to pull out this way. Kathy, you're a wicked witch. And the house of Abby Lee? Just fell on you. Goodbye. She nailed that way. It looks. I don't think people realize how hard it is to turn. I can barely do one. Those girls are not going to go out on that stage and embarrass me. It's first place or nothing this week. We will be attending the Believe Talent Competition in Columbus, Ohio. Now, you know who's going to be
gonna be in Ohio. Oh, goody. We're gonna see Kathy this weekend. And now that Abby's having these whole open calls, that means if our kids lose to candy apples, they're next on the chopping block for Abby to replace them. Everyone will be in the group routine. The routine is called just another number. Each one of you are just another number. Easily replaceable. Five, six, seven, go. The group routine is entitled just another number. I'm trying to teach the children if they were clones, if everybody did what Maddie did, then the routine would be perfection. That precision is what I'm going to be looking for at my open auditions next week. Two and three and four and five, six. I think this dance is like you're just a number. It's yeah, once again, you're dancing to that theme that you can all be replaced. Like that you're not special, you're just a number. You're just a number. I disagree with that philosophy. These girls have parted every single competition season. I really, really want to beat Carpe this weekend. The loss at Nationals was humbling for them. I think they really thought they had been had once. I honestly think that this is going to be a really tough one. This week, we're going up against Abby. She does the same tired lyrical number week after week after week. So we're going to beat her at her own game. We're going to do a lyrical number also, but ours will be amazing. <laughs> Today, we're attending the Believe competition in Columbus, Ohio, and Kathy and her rotten crab apples are already here. I don't have time to exchange pleasantries with her. I have a competition to win. The girls need to show me that this routine is not just another number. It has to be amazing, spectacular. One of those routines that people talk about for the rest of the year. They have to be good enough to beat the candy apples. And most importantly, they better prove to me they have what it takes to stay on this team. Because when your number's up, it's up. to say it, but the Candy Apples group number was pretty good. Come awards time, they may give us a run for our money.
that one thing in common that you have. When we found out that we were pregnant, we were snowboarding and ice climbing, doing all these winter crazy activities, and I was pregnant at the time, and I had no idea. And I took the pregnancy test, and there was a faint line. And I'm like, so faint, what does that mean? And I was just kind of like, what? And I went into the bedroom, and I told Sia, and I'm like, I'm going to take the other one. So I took the other test. It was one of the ones that says yes or no. And it said yes. Oh, my God. When we first started trying, we were pretty much traveling nonstop. And I think that played a role in it not happening as soon as I thought it would. And it did take a year and a half get pregnant and we actually went to the doctors because I wanted to know what was going on with my body and they told me I had polycystic ovarian syndrome and I didn't believe it because they said that they saw all these this but I didn't have any other symptoms so I left saying you know what if I do have it I'm gonna look up natural ways and I'm just gonna go with how my body feels and make some changes and those changes were getting more sleep like eight hours a, a night uh, drinking more water cutting out caffeine and being in one place for a certain amount of time and as soon as I did that for a month and a half I got pregnant. Throughout my pregnancy I would say the most difficult part was probably the, the flying part because you have to constantly get up to get that blood flow going to use the washroom so like I had to have an aisle seat and being actually in the destination finding washrooms every hour could be tricky making sure I'm um, like careful when I'm eating especially in places like Japan where sometimes I didn't know what I was consuming I was traveling pretty non-stop until I couldn't literally couldn't like the airlines wouldn't allow me to fly um, so I was I did the Japan pregnant I did the Portugal pregnant all over the states all over Canada doing really crazy hazy things and uh, now like at the last like week or two and I am feeling tired but my body's saying Once the baby's here, we are going to take some time off to really absorb the experience of being a parent. And once the baby's gotten vaccinated and everything, gets their first passport, 